I totally messed up on this. Who went now? Anybody got any questions? Because I know some people have some crazy questions, so I was going to tell you. That's cool. No questions. Left hand. Right. I got a problem. My left hand is my, my, my weakness. Oh, that's I everybody. Mean, I know how to use your left hand. Your left hand, it, it, it keeps you going. Yeah, you just, um, yeah, you just go and you play left-handed. <laughs> like, seriously. Yeah. yeah, um, I spent, like, a whole year playing left-handed, but I wouldn't, like, I would do it at home and I would do it in church, but, like, like important super gigs, I wouldn't do it. I would, you know, start, you know, period. <laughs> switch the way you play. And maybe it's not even for like that long. And then I had, um, when I got into Mars Volta, all my, um, my ghost notes started getting louder because Omar's like, no, play it louder. And I'm like, dude, if I play it louder, it's no longer a ghost note. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the songs that I wasn't there to make, I'm, I'm probably fitting my drums into their compositions. But the ones that I'm there for, I help make them. So I'm sitting there, and Omar is like, he played a groove, and I'll start it off like this. And then Crazy Omar is like, no, I'll play it on the crash. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> First got into Mars Volta. Um, I was used to playing with Keisha Cole and I was used to playing with a million rappers. And I used to play with Too Short. Nobody ever said that. <laughs> I was, and so I play with all the rappers and all that stuff. I'm used to like breaking down on the verse and all that stuff. But then when I got in the band, he's like, oh man, play more, play more. So it started being crazy because I'm like, this is the verse. And, uh, I don't know. After a while, you get to know you get to know what people want. And the first album I made was Bellum with them. No, the, I did I did records before them, before Bellum. But Bellum is when I really noticed that I was in a band that people knew the drummer. Like I never tripped on it. Like I was just like I always like Dennis let me sit in. Like you know I, I always talk about this. Like older people they get weathered. They get weathered by time. Like they be like they look at they look at the loading dock and they like all right if I jump off this loading dock I will break my neck but a kid who's 12 years old jumps off the loading dock and he doesn't care he's like I'm gonna do it just for the adventure and most people when they get older they just lose the whole adventure part of it and I think that's probably why I was in the band is because I never even cared I was like all right you know what I'm saying I was like I was just down the road with it so he would like the first record Bellum when I first started playing. I didn't know what was really going on. I started tripping out. And then it started getting stressful because 
it started like I'm I'm working with a band that I never worked with in a studio and Omar records very crazy so he would make me play things a hundred times and after a while I was angry so like pretty much most of the, the tapes you heard were the angry tapes because <laughs> he was playing with me you know some people poke at you to get to get you to do what they want so he was definitely poking at me and I was running out the studio he's screaming and cussing at him and throwing things, and all the things a temper tantrum could be. So then by the time I started doing the, the more records, it's been like, you know, we, we did like two Mars Volta records that everybody heard, but we did like six records that people never heard. Like, I, you know, did a couple Omar Rodriguez records, we did a Juliet Lewis record, we did, um, we did a lot of stuff. So by Octahedron, which was the second record that I was on, I knew him very well. So to sit in the studio and, you know, a part that's happened before in another song, I knew that he wants me to go crazy on his part. So, you know, it was it was a lot easier, but the first one, I was stressed out and I was going crazy. So I kind of believe that um, the first step, I was fitting my drums into it, and the second time, I think it was just all of us creating that studio, if that answers your question. Yeah, right. Next um, question, you're back. Uh, speaking of Omar Rodriguez Lopez, um, uh, he frequently releases solo work. Uh, yeah. Do you think that he's going to continue to release solo work? Yeah. Have you ever No, I, I worked with him on the record. I played on a couple solo records. I played on the one that I can't pronounce that starts with an X. <laughs> like, like he does records and I can't even pronounce none of the names of the songs, much less the record. So it's just like, um, like yeah, I, I've done I've done those records. Um, the Zach Hill record was done before I was ever in the band. So um, that dude does like six records a year, dude. He's like a workaholic. Yeah, he does a lot of stuff. So yeah, I did a, I did a lot of that stuff, but I never knew what I was doing, dude. We would go to Electric Ladyland, and that's where Jimi Hendrix, you know, did all that stuff. I was playing on a '60s Gretsch drum set, and then it go on an Omar Rodriguez record. And the whole time I thought it was a Mars Volta record. And so I never, you know, what I'm saying like, and that's what was crazy about it. I was doing so much stuff and never knew why, and I was so down just because that, like, that's my boy. Like, I like Omar genuinely. So it was like, he's like, you want to go to Mexico do this? I'm like, all right, cool, let's do it. <laughs> Another question? Dude, I just ate barbecue and sat in the back playing and it would just go down so I could just like, you know. <laughs> so like for the shows, I like for the shows I was doing, I was warming up. I would, you know what? I had a, I had a crazy routine that nobody liked. Like I would get to, I would get to the the venue and at like two, let's say we got there at twelve. I would wake up at two, still have my pajamas on, go in there. My drum set barely might be set up because I had a drum set, and I would go in there and start hitting drums around two and just like warming up so by the time the shows were happening I was butter and then I would do stuff like go like you know go to Memphis drum shop or come here before a show and like do an in-store and they just you know want you to play so 